Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add link previews when you paste in a website address in Gmail. So normally when you do a new email, let's say we want to copy this link here and send it in an email, paste it in, that's pretty much all you get. But other email clients such as Outlook.com for example, you could paste in a link and it'll show you a little preview. So what we're going to do is use an extension called URL Link Previews for Gmail by CloudHQ. So CloudHQ, they have a lot of extensions and add-ons for Gmail and for Chrome, and they should work as well for Edge. So once you get to the page here, click on Add to Chrome. It should say Get, I believe, for Edge. Make sure you accept the permissions. It'll reload your Gmail. Then I'll give you a little sample here with some links you could test. Okay, so let's try it again here. So now you can see we have a highlighted link there and if you click on it, you could add a preview. So it'll generate a preview from the website. Just like that. And of course you could undo it. If you click on it again, you could click on remove, but that just removes the link. It doesn't seem to remove the uh, preview there. So we'll just do a control Z. Okay, you could also add content. So I actually take information from the page and paste it into the body of the email. All right, let's paste it in again. And then you could do a screenshot. So it'll go to the page, take a screenshot, come back, and then paste it in, like so. You could also change the link. So if you want to actually change the text that goes with the link, like so. Okay, so this extension also had an option where you could add a button where you could customize the text and the colors and so on. And that way it'll be a button they could click on. But I don't know if it's just not working on this computer or if they removed that feature because it was there the other day. But what you would do is you would click on it, then you'd have an option to create a button and that button would have the link with custom text and then you could just click on the button there. So you'll have to see if that works for you. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download the URL link previewer and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.